in this video i will show you another example of average value and this will be the last example okay calculate the average value of the given alternating current say in the y axis i am taking the current say the value of current changing with time therefore you will see this will be an alternating current here you will see in the x axis we will take omega t and the cycle of this waveform within 0 to 4 pi therefore the waveform will have a period of t equal to 4 pi now see i have to calculate the average value therefore i will write down i average will be equal to area under the waveform over full cycle divided by the period of that cycle period of this waveform will be 4 pi area under the waveform that means area under the alternating current over full cycle that means the area under this waveform over full cycle will be the green shaded region as i am indicating Here you will see from 0 to 5 I will see this sine wave. From 5 to 3 phi by 2 I will see this triangle. And from 2 phi to 5 phi by 2 I will see this trapezoid. And from 3 phi to 4 phi I will see this rectangle okay let's say the area covered by this sine wave is a1 the area covered by this triangle is a2 the area covered by this trapezoid is a3 the area covered by this rectangle is a4 now in case of this trapezoid here you will see this line and this line will be the two parallel lines and this horizontal axis will indicate the distance or the separation between the two parallel parallel lines the, now the total area of this waveform let's say I denote that with a that will be the sum of areas covered by the sine wave triangle trapezoid and this rectangle that means area will be a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 okay now see here from 0 to 5 I will encounter this sine wave therefore the equation of the sine wave will be see the minimum value is minus 10 minus 10 sine omega t now how do we calculate the area covered by this sine wave as i have indicated by this green shadow line that will be the integration of this minus sine minus 10 sine omega t between 0 to 5 interval with respect to d omega t therefore the area a1 will be equal to integration of 0 to 5 minus 10 sine omega t d omega t now this 10 will be outside of the integration sign sine omega t d omega t now see if i integrate the sine omega t i will get minus cos omega t upper limit phi lower limit 0 now see if i put the value of phi and 0 here i will get minus 10 minus cos phi minus cos 0 degree in front of it i have to put another minus sign 0 therefore here i will get minus 10 minus minus 1 minus minus 1 which will be equal to minus 10 into 2 which will be equal to minus 20 so the area a1 covered by the half sine wave will be equal to minus 20 now after that i will calculate area a2 area a2 is the area covered by the triangle see this is the height of this triangle which will be 10 and this will be the base here you will see the base will be 3 phi by 2 minus phi which will be equal to phi by 2 so our area a2 will be equal to half into base into height which will be equal to 
2.55 after that i will calculate the area covered by the trapezoid here you will see these are the two parallel lines this line this line will have a length of 5 and this line will have a length of 10 and this is the base or the separation between the two lines the separation between the two lines will be equal to 5 5 by 2 minus 2 5 which will be equal to 5 by 2 therefore the distance between the two parallel lines will be 5 by 2 and the length of the two lines will be 5 and 10 respectively so i can write a3 will be equal to half into sum of parallel lines into distance between two lines which will be equal to 15 5 by 4 which will be equal to 3.75 phi now see after that i will calculate the area covered by this rectangle see the rectangle has a height of 5 and the base of this rectangle is only phi therefore i can calculate the area a4 by multiplying base with height 5 phi therefore the total area covered by the waveform over full cycle will be equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 here I will get minus 20 plus 11.255 here I will get area will be equal to 15.343 so area of the waveform over full cycle will be 15.343 and here you will see the period of this waveform will be equal to 4 phi so i can write 4 phi which will be equal to 1.22 ampere and this will be the average value of this current okay that's it thank you